Hi guys, we're back again. Um, I'm home now, so no fancy board. Unfortunately, our interactive panel is at school. Um, you had some lessons in your workbook on homophones. The way to remember what a homophone is, the beginning of it, homo, means same. The end of it, phones, we think about a phone we talk on. Um, when you talk on the phone, you hear sounds. So these are going to be words that sound the same. So one of the words that we have that sounds the same is C and C. They both sound exactly alike. I always remember that the S-E-E -E is the kind that you use your eyeballs for because the two E's look like two eyeballs in the word. And the other C is the kind where a boat rides on the sea. We also have the word meat. and meat. The first one is the kind you eat, and I can remember that because it has the word eat in it. So when you talk about like chicken being a kind of meat, because you eat it, you use that kind of meat. We've learned the contraction there, which we know means they are. And then there's the word there, like over there. And then there's the word there, like it's their book. They own it. Okay, there's lots of words like that that sound exactly the same but have different meanings. You can best tell what the meaning is by the context um, or the other words in the sentence. As far as figuring out which one you need to write, um, you have to look at the word. Look at how it's formed. Try to find other words inside of it, like eat, that will help tell you the definition. If we really got stuck, we were in the classroom, I'd tell you to look in the blue book, which is our class dictionary. Um, if you're home, you can check in a dictionary, or you can check online if you don't have a dictionary. So that's what you're doing on those workbook pages. You're looking for homophones, words that sound the same. I hope this was helpful. If you need me, please don't forget, you can email me or dojo me. I'll be happy to get a hold of you and give you some help. Have a good night, guys.